Hey, what's up guys? Josh with Kenda Tires. In today's video, we're gonna take a much closer look at Kenda's all new second generation mud terrain, the Cleaver MT2. But guys, before we jump into covering the new MT2, I wanna give you guys just a little bit of a backstory on Kenda Tires. See, since 1962, beginning with bicycle tires, Kenda Tires has been in the business of manufacturing tires. Expanding from bicycle tires into a wide variety of consumer product segments to include things like power sports, turf, trailer, specialty, wheelchair, and of course, their automotive passenger and light truck line of tires. Heck, you may even have a set of Kenda tires and might not even know it. In fact, for Kenda tires to create a premium product at a value price, and the reason you may not even heard of Kenda before, it's because in order to help keep their prices lower than the competitors or the other brands out there, Kenda doesn't use high profile mainstream avenues of advertising to get the word out, like in television commercials, for example. Instead, Kenda uses a massive dealership network across North America and other more conventional grassroots ways of getting the word out. You'll see Kenda Tires support teams at on and off-road competitive automotive racing events, bicycle and power sports events with a long-standing history of winning many championships, emphasizing our philosophy of podium to pavement meaning that we utilize the exact same tire models out on the racetrack that you and I can go purchase from our local Kenda Tire dealer. Plus, obviously, right here on YouTube, where if you hit that subscribe button, you'll get to know a lot more about Kenda Tires. But for now, let's go ahead and jump into our new second generation mud terrain. This new Kenda Cleaver MT2 derived from many years of some of the most extreme testing environments around the world with most of the testing coming right here from off-road racing. Kenda's first generation mud terrain has been involved in short course off-road racing for the last 10 years, along with a multitude of various other off-roading applications, from rock crawling and desert racing to construction trucks, ranch trucks, Jeeps, Toyotas, and on just about every type of vehicle in every type of environment imaginable. All of this field testing along with having the third largest tire and research development facility in the country gave the MT2 a competitive advantage in many forms over its predecessor and other tire brands in general. In the form of construction, durability, performance and handling both on and off the road. Starting with the robustness and durability of the MT2 begins with the tried and true design process and Kenda's triple threat three ply sidewall that is also found on the proven Kenda Cleaver Rugged Terrain, or RT for short. The three-ply sidewall gives the MT2 an extra layer of durability and protection when hauling heavy loads, or while out on the trails, protecting the sidewall against deep cuts or sharp punctures. The all-new blockchain sidewall tread also adds additional rubber for even greater added protection from cuts and punctures, but not only that, it gives the MT2 a huge advantage in finding that extra traction when you find yourself in deep snow, mud, sand, deep ruts, and plus the extra aggressive sidewall gives you better sidewall traction in the rocks. As a testament to Kenda's tire design and manufacturing process, that is the foundation of their Cleaver light truck line of tires. These are the same exact tires that are run on the high horsepower, short course, off-road and ultra four race trucks. In fact, Kenda has been testing their new MT2 on these race trucks over the last year while Kenda engineers take data and analyze the testing results to ensure they're going to hold up in everyday use, of which they absolutely do. Over the last few months, I've been fortunate enough to be able to tag along with the Kenda team to various racing events like King of the Hammers and the Championship Series Off-Road Racing to witness firsthand just how tough these tires are and truly defining the podium to pavement philosophy. In fact, just in the first half of the short course off-road racing season, our four Kenda Tires factory sponsor teams have already secured 22 podium finishes of which a podium finish is either a first place win, second place, or third place finish. And out of those 22 podiums, 12 of them have been first place wins, all on Kenda tires. Again, hence Kenda's tagline of podium to pavement. Because as I had mentioned earlier, 
The same exact DOT tires that the racers have on their trucks are the same exact tires that you and I can purchase right from our local Kenda tire dealer. And that's truly a real world testament to Kenda's tires construction, durability, and performance. Even though a tire strength and robustness is extremely important as a key component for mud terrain tires, there's a lot more to be considered when designing and engineering a new tire model. Kenda tire engineers have to create a safe tire that handles well in every type of on-road condition imaginable. However, there is a tricky balance of performance characteristics when it comes to a mud terrain type of tire for on-road performance and handling. Things like tread design and how to reduce noise on an aggressive tread pattern designed for high performance while off-road. This is where Kenda's engineers utilize cutting-edge computer-aided tread optimization with an A to B pitched tread pattern, which means that as the tire is rotating and each tread block is coming in contact with the pavement, that not all the tread blocks are contacting the pavement at the same exact time, and the tread blocks contact the pavement in a way that spreads out the contact patch more evenly. This way you don't get that sort of slapping sound that is commonly referred to with a mud terrain tire. They also had to take in consideration each tread block's particular design, tread block stiffness, siping, valley grooves, stone ejectors, and probably the most important engineering performance attribute to every tire is the chemical makeup of the tire's tread compound. And at Kenda State of the Art Research and Development Center in Canton, Ohio, also known as the Kenda American Technology Center, or KATC for short, there is an entire chemical compound team of scientists that formulate tire compounds and then test them rigorously for months and months in order to ensure the perfect mud terrain tire compound is being used. This enhances the tire's traction and safety in every type of on and off-road terrain and in every type of weather condition there is to its maximum potential. And here's a fun fact about Kenda's Technology Center, something I touched on earlier. It is the third largest tire research and development center in North America. And again, instead of spending millions and millions of dollars on expensive mainstream advertising, Kenda directs those resources to creating a better tire and optimizing the performance versus tire cost balance. Basically, you guys are getting the best tire for the best prices, a true bang for your buck scenario. At the KATC, they also perform rigorous tests on tread life, rolling resistance, road noise, comfort and handling, emergency maneuvering performance, including braking, acceleration, and hard cornering. And once the chief engineer has satisfactory analysis results from months and months of testing the new model of tire, in this case, the second gen MT2, it gets allocated a small lot of tires that are then to be used in all sorts of real-world testing scenarios for yet another round of months and months of testing situations before it is even considered for mass production. And from there, we send tires to unbiased third-party test facilities all over the world for all sorts of testing, of which these testing facilities are only testing for factual results, and they don't care what brand of tire it is. And one of the examples I'm referring to here is like ice and snow testing to ensure cold weather cohesiveness standards or the three peak snowflake mountain rating. Just because it's a mud terrain doesn't mean it gets a free pass in icy or blizzard conditions for traction performance. In fact, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration still sets traction and safety protocols for manufacturers to meet regardless of the type of automotive tire it is. Tires are also sent to all of our race teams in extreme ultra four off-road racing and also to our race teams in short course off-road racing for testing. Then Kenda also sends sets to professional off-road testing companies and publications across the United States for even more testing, reviews, and feedback. This entire process ensures any bugs or kinks with the MT2s are worked out, if any at this point at all, and are known about before being available to us consumers. It's a lengthy and rigorous process, but a very necessary and valuable process, and this way, we know that Kenda Tires is putting out the best of the best by the time it gets to us. So when we start to consider if the new Cleaver MT2 is going to fit our own particular needs, let's take a closer look at its physical features and their benefits, starting with the tread design and placement of the tread blocks. 
we can see that they're oriented in a scooping fashion, meaning that every rotation of the tire this line of tread will scoop out thick mud or sand, snow, or any other type of loose dirt and sending it outwards of the rear and sides through these deep valley grooves or tread grooves. By removing the loose stuff and clearing it out, it gives the next set of rotating tread blocks the ability to grab and bite instead of being hindered by getting gummed up or too full of debris to maintain traction. And as we talked about earlier, we can see this line of tread blocks are positioned in a slanted A to B formation or pitched formation as this pattern helps minimize road noise, creating a surprisingly quiet and comfortable ride. And while we were on our Kenda light truck boot camp trip in central Arizona this past spring, I also had the privilege of having been provided my own Jeep four-door Rubicon fitted with a set of 35 inch tall by 1250 wide Kenda Cleaver MT2s for an entire day while we were pre-running the back road to Crown King Trail. And the trail had it all. Deep snow, mud, water crossing, rocky sections, loose dirt hill climbs, and sections of freeway leading to and from the trail. I can personally attest that riding in a Jeep Wrangler, it's a little loud inside even with regular all-terrain tires, but the Cleaver MT2s very respectable road manners on the freeway at 75 miles an hour. Even cruising through some of the side streets as we were returning back to the hotel for the evening was still a pretty quiet ride. But getting out to the trails was almost like flipping a switch. And what I mean by that is that even though as quiet of a mud terrain as these are on the pavement, you almost start to forget it's an aggressive mud terrain tire. Until you're in a predicament off-road like steep hill climbs or a rocky boulder section or even trying to side hill the Jeep, while maneuvering around a massive fallen boulder. The Cleaver mud terrains never let me down, not even once with all of their available traction. And I can be somewhat difficult to impress and don't like gimmicks and can smell them from a mile away, but I'm telling you guys, not as a guy trying to make a YouTube video to sell tires, but I do absolutely love these new mud terrains for their functionality, their durability, and their performance both on and off the road. And guys, we can also see here on the base layer of the tread are these, what are often referred to as stone ejectors, or as some other tire manufacturers refer to them as mud phobic bars, and actually serve a much broader purpose than just making sure stones don't get caught in the tread. One of them being that they actually help introduce air into the void area of the tread package when it flexes, enabling whatever materials are caught in there, especially wet mud, wet sticky mud, to be ejected by breaking that suction that forms when it gets packed in. Another reason and the obvious reason is to prevent stones from getting caught in between the tread blocks. Granted, guys, that's still gonna happen no matter what type of tire you have just because of the infinite sizes of pebbles and stones and gravel, rocks and whatever else. But a third purpose of these is to prevent sharp and jagged rocks or debris from being able to puncture the base layer. Believe it or not, there are other brands out there on the market who have nothing on that base layer. Just a wide open, smooth layer of vulnerable rubber to leave you either changing a tire on the trail or even worse, just leaving you stranded in general from a potentially avoidable flat tire. And additionally, another sometimes overlooked feature from other brands on their mud terrains are these small slits or cuts in the tread blocks on the surface known as sipes or siping. These two have multiple performance benefits on both the pavement and the trail. The most popular one being added traction. The sipes allow for additional biting edges for an increased grip on the many types of terrain surfaces. The sipes also give water and ice a place to go and fun fact, ice stuck in these sipes increases traction because packed ice against icy surfaces is actually sticky because of friction between them. And just like the little suction release grooves on the side of the tread blocks, sipes also create the same suction release when traveling over water on pavement. On top of that, sipes will aid in allowing the tread blocks to be able to shift and move around slightly, which helps in reducing some of the rigidity of the block and can now better conform to trail debris and obstacles. And you can see here, there are smaller, thinner, full depth sipes on these tread blocks and larger, less shallow sipes known as curves, a term derived from the carpentry trade, on these tread blocks here. 
But not only is there siping on the treads contact patch, but even the shoulder tread has three sipes on every other shoulder block. These shoulder sipes allow the shoulder tread to better conform and shape to obstacles, plus even allow heat dissipation at highway speeds. Then moving it down from the shoulder blocks and onto the sidewall tread is what I personally think is the best looking sidewall out there on the market today. Again, my opinion, but Kenda's new blockchain sidewall tread is designed to offer an extra layer of thick rubber to prevent punctures and cuts and especially designed for a lot of sidewall traction in deep snow, mud, deep ruts, and extra traction in the rocky sections on the trail. But even if you never end up hitting the trails or off the pavement in general, this blockchain sidewall is definitely going to look great on your vehicle and really set you apart from other vehicles running those other boring mud terrains. So then combine all of these physical performance and durability features of Kenda's new second generation cleaver mud terrain with the perfect balance of rubber composition for longevity, traction, cut and chip resistance, flexibility, and combine that with the fact that you have 36 different sizes to choose from with sizes fitting 15 inch all the way up to 22 inch diameter wheels. And then pair all of that with Kenda's phenomenal pricing and to me, it's a no-brainer for anyone, not just looking for a dedicated mud terrain tire, but anyone who is looking for a truly more aggressive every terrain tire. Not the aggressive style or type of tire that you're looking for, that's okay. Then just check out kendatire.com and take a look at the ever so popular Cleaver Rugged Terrain or RT, or even the second generation Three Peak Mountain Snowflake rated Cleaver All Terrain if you spend most of your time on the pavement. Either way, Kenda Tires has you covered and they are truly designed for your journey. And guys, for more videos just like this heading your way, make sure and hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any of them. As always, we here at Kenda Tires appreciate all of you for watching today's video and especially appreciate all of your support, past and future. I'm Josh with Kenda Tires and we'll see you guys out on the trails. Thank you.